Hi, how's it going? It's Kiva Sausage with some really juicy news. Oh my goodness. What's Ron been up to? This guy is like the major porn king, wasn't he? He's like... Yeah, he's king of porn. Um, he's got a few funny movies, you know? Comedies and stuff. Yeah. Big Brother busted you, bro. Big Brother was watching you. Big Brother caught you. Okay, what's he been up to? He's on multiple charges of assault. Okay, adult film star Ron Jeremy was charged Monday with 20 new counts of rape of sexual assault involving 12 women and a teenage girl. These are little girls alone, bro. The charges came two months after Jeremy, 67, well, I guess he's having that action all his life, right? So it's a habit. Was charged with the rape of three women and a sexual assault of a fourth. He pleaded not guilty to the new charges in Los Angeles Superior Court and previously denied the early allegations. Jeremy, whose legal name is Ronald Jeremy Hyatt, has been held in jail on a 6.6 .6 million bail. Whoa! Since June. Okay, here's some interesting uh, other stories on him. Porn star who first exposed abuse claims against Ron Jeremy has spoken to many alleged victims. Okay, let's have a look at that one. Okay. Okay, what have we got down here? The porn star who helped expose a raft of sexual assault allegations against adult entertainer Ron Jeremy has revealed more than 50 other women have come forward claiming to be alleged victims of the 67 year old. Uh, either he did it or he didn't, or they're trying to get money out of him. And okay, his time has come. And that's not a, pun, uh, that's not a uh, pun, okay? Being serious. This time here's C O M E. Not the other one. On Tuesday, Jeremy was charged with raping three women and sexually assaulting a fourth Los Angeles County prosecutors revealed. The counts make 67-year-old Jeremy the third man to be charged, along with Harvey Weinstein and producer David Gulod, Gulod by a task force formed by District Attorney Jackie Lacey in 2017 to investigate sexual misconduct, misconduct in the entertainment industry. Ginger Banks it sounds like a poor name. The woman behind exposing Jeremy and his alleged exploits says she feels vindicated following his arrest, saying many more women fell victim to the star. Okay. In 2017, 2017, Banks first released a video containing the allegations of multiple women against a veteran porn star. Banks herself claimed she was groped by Jeremy at an awards evening in 2016 before other women came forward with similar allegations against the veteran Ponsa. Keep your hands to yourself and your eyes on the wheel. Yeah, um, yeah, guy had no control, obviously. Um, the stories are all the same, she told the son. Isn't it an English newspaper? Oh, I don't know. Um, maybe it's not. Um, people would go up to him and be really excited because they would get to meet Ron Jeremy and asked to take a picture. Yeah, well, they thought he was the man, right? It turned out he was a creep. Um, I just claimed Jeremy violated a woman with his... Oh, my gosh. With his finger while having their photos taken with him. Oh, my gosh. He also alleged... He's also alleged to have put his mouth on her chest and in some cases penetrate them on set. The groping is a very, very similar story. It honestly seems to me that if you met Ron Jeremy and he didn't inappropriately touch you, you're almost in the minority. Banks says more than 100 people have oh God, contacted her about, it. oh my gosh, legitimate claims. Okay. Um, Banks wasn't the first one to speak out over Jeremy in 2016. Cam girl Miss Lollipop. Never heard of her. Not that I can watch cams. <coughs> okay. Um, went public after tweeting her alleged experience with the now 67 year old adult star Miss Lollipop who also uses the name Lacey on Twitter alleged Jeremy digitally penetrated her with that content the tweet read not my first but at my first adult con posing for a photo of Ron Jeremy he, oh god don't really want to read that there might be kids watching shoo 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 kids go play the Xbox or go play in traffic she told the son, this is no secret. We have been shouting about him since 2016. 
She said at the time Jeremy's response was to admit he's a groper and blame it on his job. Yeah, okay. Lacey also revealed how a friend was by Jeremy while on a set performing a solo scene, saying she had not consented to Jeremy's advance. Okay, there he is there. Uh, he then videoed the incident to which the woman asked, Are you filming this? Captions on the video reads, Persistence wears down resistance. Yeah, so yeah, the creepy dude. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. Okay, keep doing it, keep doing it until they finally buckle. It has since been sent to prosecutors. Dozens of women have taken to social media for allegations of abuse against Jeremy, although he is always denied in all allegations of rape. One woman posted a shocking photo of herself looking outrageous. Jeremy, oh my gosh, put his hand under her top to cop a feel. She wrote, Ron Jeremy assaults people. I know this because he has, already, he has also grossly groped me when I asked for a photo. Literally. A fan. He gropes fans. Oh my god. They trust a dude around children. You know, children fans. Well, yeah, they shouldn't be in there anyway. You know, they shouldn't be in front of the guy. Um... Okay, and yeah, there's probably many more right here, right? He's been banned from porn awards after rape allegations. Put your uh, award bro in the bin. There you go. Melted it down. But um, this is a different uh, story. Okay. Save Ron's wood. Okay. Thought you might want to chop wood, his wood off. Yeah, porn actor fights to protect tree. Let's have a look at this. Got the jibber jabber. You just can't get the variety of girls or guys in mainstream stuff because obviously, if you're a big company, you this? have to put in people that you know are going to return no, money on. Do you know what I mean? So you, you, someone that's already got a name, got a brand, whereas the OnlyFans it can be just anyone. So you've got a lot more variety. You're going to stumble upon more people, things like that. So I think that's it. I don't think that's got big... anything to do with Ron. Okay. Um, Porn actor Ron Jeremy is fighting to save a tree his father planted outside their New York home the day he was born. Jeremy took to Twitter on Saturday saying that utility Con Edison was going to cut down the tree that was planted in Queens in 1953. Ah, oh, leave it alone, boy. It's been there since 1953. Jeez, go cut some dead tree down. Womble. The tweet includes a 2018 photo of Jeremy hugging the tree. He loves the tree. Because his dad planted it way back in where never 1953 or whatever. Jeremy, who has been staying at a ho Hollywood hotel during the coronavirus pandemic, told the New York Daily News that a neighbour let him know that how the, though the trunk was wrapped in yellow tape last week. Do not cross the police line. Uh, is it covered in chalk? Yeah, got chalk around it. I looked after that tree all my life. They tried to chop the tree down years ago, but I wouldn't let them. Jeremy said. I even belted myself to the tree. Okay, and what's this here? Okay, the tweet garnered attention with one person rallying others to save Ron's wood. The tree is on a city property and the parks department can choose to remove it according to Con Edison. It is up to the city to decide whether to remove the tree to avoid any potential damage it may cause to surrounding power lines. Jeremy said he had considered travelling to New York to protest the tree's removal, but didn't feel comfortable flying. Let my little tree live, Jeremy said. He ain't ready to go yet. Yeah, leave it alone. Jeez. He's sentencing the man, not the damn tree. Um, yeah, if he will rally and say, no, no, okay, he's a bad guy, but done the bad things, but save the tree, save the tree. You know, all you tree huggers. Um, yeah, he might truly have some remorse, some regret, and, you know, uh, find Jesus or something. Anyway, um, pretty interesting, eh? He was the king, king of the porn industry, and he screwed it up. All right? He messed it up. Well, you can only see what happens from that. You know, he pleads guilty or whatever. He's wearing the uh, prison orange. Ooh, his bail is 6.6 .6 million. Oh my gosh. So, what do you think? You know, subscribe to our channel and then add your comments down below. Your opinions, your views. Is he going to go free? Is he guilty? Okay. Um, did he do it? Right. He's going away for 20 years or whatever. Or is he you know, getting blamed? 
the conspiracy theory or whatever. Yep. Yep. Add your views below and uh, we'll uh, look at them uh, 10 years from now. Oh, no, just kidding. Um, probably look at them after lunch. Okay. Catch you later.